Today, we will show you how to change the battery on your Garmin Descent T1 transmitter. Before you begin, you will need a CR123A battery, silicone grease, a coin or a flathead screwdriver, a lint-free cloth, and your Descent T1 transmitter. First, insert the coin or screwdriver into the cutout on the top center of the transmitter. Turn in a counterclockwise motion until the cap is able to be removed. Now, tilt the transmitter and the battery will fall out. We recommend inspecting the cap and the O-rings for damage and debris. The O-ring should not have any sand, dirt, or other debris on it to ensure a proper seal. If needed, you can also use a cloth with some warm water to clean the O-rings. If the O-rings are damaged or have significant dirt or debris on them, we recommend replacing them. Replacements may be available at your local dive shop or online at www.garmin.com. A helpful tip when installing the O-rings include not using any metal tools when removing or installing the O-rings. Doing so could damage the cap or the O-rings. While installing the O-rings, first add a very thin layer of synthetic grease. Then, be sure that the red O-ring is installed first towards the battery side of the cap. and then the black o-ring is installed towards the top of the cap. Before reinserting the cap to the transmitter, coat the o-rings with synthetic grease. Next, insert the new CR123A battery with the positive end first. Place the cap back on top of the transmitter. Insert the coin or screwdriver and slowly start turning clockwise to avoid cross-threading the cap. Then, finish tightening the cap. As a tip, you should hear an audible chime indicating that the battery has made contact with the cap. While not required, now would be a good time to check the high-pressure fitting O-ring. Before removing the transmitter from the regulator, it is important to ensure the regulator is depressurized. This can be done by either removing the regulator from the scuba cylinder or by closing the scuba cylinder valve and pressing the purge button on the regulator's second stage. Please follow the proper depressurization in your regulator's owner's manual. To remove the transmitter for service, a 5 8 wrench will be necessary. If the O-ring is cracking or damaged, you should replace it with a number two standard high pressure port O-ring available at your local dive shop. Then you can reinstall the transmitter following the owner's manual guide. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.